a video footage has emerged showing grieving family members breaking through the concrete zone from where a 16-year-old had been heard banging and screaming a day after her burial in La Entrada, Western Honduras. She was then taken out of her tomb. She was still warm. The glass viewing window on her coffin had been smashed, and the tips of her fingers were bruised. She had scratches on her forehead too. It looked like she had tried desperately to get out of the casket and hurt herself. She was rushed back to hospital, where she was carried in, still inside her coffin. But despite efforts to revive her, medics found no signs of life, and she was returned to the cemetery and reburied at the same mausoleum. The woman named Missy Perez, who was three months pregnant, reportedly fell unconscious after waking up in the night to use the outside toilet at her home. It was believed she was have collapsed in an apparent panic attack after hearing a burst of gunfire. But when she started foaming at the mouth, her religious parents called the local priest, believing she had become possessed by an evil spirit. Relatives told how the priest tried to exorcise her, but she later became lifeless and was rushed to hospital, where a few hours later, doctors declared her dead. Another hypothesis is that she had a catalepsy attack. This sudden loss of muscle tone while a person is awake leads to weakness and a loss of voluntary muscle control. It is often triggered by sudden strong emotions such as laughter, fear, anger, stress, or excitement. Catalepsy is sometimes associated with narcolepsy. She may then have died from lack of oxygen after waking up inside the closed coffin. The family of young Peruvian man who died after undergoing root canal operation have spoken of their distress when the man appeared to be breathing at his own funeral. The man named Watson de Retillo was pronounced dead by doctors at the hospital after suffering a fever following dental surgery. He was taken to an undertaker and his body was prepared for burial, but shock workers and relatives noticed he was still breathing as he was being entered. Doctor was called and confirmed he showed vital signs of life so his body was taken out of the coffin and he was rushed to hospital. But unfortunately, he was pronounced dead again soon after arriving at the hospital. Dorothea initially went for treatment on root canal at clinic but he was then taken to the hospital after suffering fever and chills following the surgery and is thought to have been given a sedative, he was then pronounced dead, but was instead alleged to have just been heavily sedated. Now his family are seeking justice, and police are investigating the case. Kenyan man, who had mistakenly been declared dead, made unexpected return to life, as he was lying on a table in a morgue, about to be involved. The man named Peter Kaigen was transferred to the morgue where he suddenly woke up as mortician made an incision on his right leg to infuse formalin as part of the process of preserving the body when he suddenly regained consciousness and began to cry in pain. Shockstaff initially fled, thinking he had been resurrected before he was returned to the hospital and received first aid. Kaigen said he was happy to be alive and vowed to dedicate his life to evangelism. Manuel, his family has accused their local hospital of negligence. <laughs> 78-year-old Mississippi man wakes up in the back at morgue and startled the workers when his leg kicking to get out. The man named Walter Williams was taken back to the hospital and reunited with his overjoyed family but unfortunately, two weeks after, he died. Family members said they were grateful for that extra time. William suffered from congestive heart failure and had been in hospice care. When he was mistakenly declared dead, doctors at hospital said it was possible his hyperhypoglycemia combined with medications he was taking may have made him sleep so deeply that he appeared to have died. A 20-year-old Detroit woman woke up at the funeral home hours later 
when she was mistakenly declared dead. Funeral workers were startled when unzipping the body bag and discovered her breathing with her eyes open. The woman named Demisha Butcham, who was born with cerebral palsy, was found unresponsive in her home, having suffered a seizure. A doctor who was in on the scene declared her dead. After one of the paramedics reported via telephone that she displayed no signs of life after they tried reviving her for 30 minutes. Blue Champs attorney told news media, it's one of people's worst nightmares to imagine having ambulance called and instead sending you up to funeral home. Blue Champ was then rushed to hospital and in critical condition. Weeks later, she died for real. Her family believes that her wrongful death diagnosis could have been what killed her, that she died as a result of massive brain damage that was suffered when Southfield paramedics wrongly declared her dead and failed to provide her much needed oxygen. Her devastated family has since filed a $50 million federal lawsuit against Southfield and the four paramedics who attended her. The city is looking into the case and in response to the allegations, told the Guardian that she may have suffered from Lazarus syndrome which causes people to come back to life after attempts to revive them have failed.